Hi, my name is Kayla. And I'm Hannah. And this is Read Layer Wiwinick, a YVC Library podcast. Today we're going to be covering The Lottery by Shirley Jackson. And as you can tell, our beloved Hannah is back. Say Hi, hello. guys. She's been doing her business thing, so, you know, she can't be here all the time, but she's very happy to be back. I and am she's so excited. She's panging out that degree. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the first question. Were you surprised by the ending of the story? If not, at what point did you know what was going to happen? How does Jackson foreshadow the ending? <laughs> I think I was super shocked. I will say I was I was gagged. I was gooped. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm even more shocked to find out that you read this book in middle school and yeah. I did not. Yeah, it was part of my English class. We had to read it. I will say I think a a part like thinking back mm-hmm. in the book when the kids were gathering the stones. Yeah. Like when the ending of the book hit with the like with what had happened, I was yeah. like, oh my fucking god. No. Yeah, I already knew it was gonna happen because I read this story before. But if I reach back in like the little cubicles of my mind, <laughs> the cubicles. Uh, when I first read it, I was like, "Oh wow, they're really just gonna throw those, huh? They're just gonna I was... stone somebody." Yeah, I was pretty eh. surprised as well. I was like, "This is a weird thing to do." Like, I... why? I feel like it's even weirder once you find out why they're doing the. Yeah, doing it. it's just it's very it, interesting. It, it's giving me like cult mentality almost. Yeah, it's like oh, spill the blood to secure the grain. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. In what way does the setting affect the story? Does it make you more or less likely to anticipate the ending? I think the fact that this was like a like a tiny little village, like kind of like farm town. It was giving me like Skyrim village and illness. That's like, true. Little white runties. Literally. So like, I don't know how to explain it. I guess like the thing about oh we must shed blood to secure a hung of us was yeah. like oh it makes sense these people are gonna like it fangle. seemed very archaic but this was written in like. Let me see. Um, it, was like, it was written during the height of communism in the Soviet Union, so it was written a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, 1928. Yeah. So I think because the setting was like a little farm town, it kind of made it scarier because you're like, oh, these farm people are going to shiv me with their pitchforks for grain. Oh, and you anti-hick? No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just... I'm, I'm anti-murderous farm people. Oh, I, I, I guess I could stand behind that. Honestly, and I did kind of guess the ending when I first read it as well, because I'm like, why else would they be gathering stones and putting people's names in a box? I don't know. I thought it was like the Hunger Games kind of get out. Yeah, right. Like, you will be going out to fight for a young life. Yeah. I you will. are a worthy sacrifice for the green gods. <laughs> now shed thine blood. <laughs> Do you think there are any symbols in the story, like the black box and why it was battered? I think, well, okay, didn't, was it the main thing, like, if you drew even a blank piece of paper and yeah, a piece of paper with a black the black symbol, dot. Yeah, yeah the like, black dot. So I feel like picked. that's, that could be counted as a symbol, because yeah. it's literally like, oh, you get black dot from a black box, you want you you the sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> I think the black box was battered because it's like, it was like this old tradition. Yeah. It, and I, honestly, if I were, if someone I loved got picked, I would throw rocks at the people and the box. Uh, I'd be like, you guys suck. <laughs> you you guys suck take the box and light on fire yeah no so i think i mean it makes sense why it was battered because of how old their tradition was i like to also mention that in the book the people before when they were jingling like the little pieces of paper and they were like oh some people don't even want to do this anymore because mm-hmm. they're lazy i bet they want us to go back to caveman town yeah and i was and like, like dude it's not that deep it's people like, just don't want to kill people they don't want bloodshed maybe like, um, maybe just sow your grains a little better. I don't know. Get some some pigs literally. to poop on there. I don't know. Something. The story was published in 1948. Are there any cultural or historical events that Jackson might be commenting here? I mean, considering the Soviet Union and communism was um rising when the story was written and it was in one of the discussion questions, yeah. I feel like she was kind of maybe commenting on communism and the Soviet Union. I don't know if she was saying, oh, if the communists take over, we have to kill people for grain or something. <laughs> but she, she was fun She was like, yeah, you know what? They're gonna take our grain, so we're the, gonna have to. We're just... gonna have to kill people to ensure that we have a better gang next. Time. Yeah. So I don't necessarily really know how the rise of communism would contribute to anything. Yeah, literally. But I mean, maybe. Maybe she. Was I'm like, not. I'm not an English professor. Not yet. Maybe she thought she knew what was gonna happen. Like, yeah, she was like, yeah, you know what? Ritual sacrifice is gonna be in. This might as well happen. On Wednesdays, we wear pink stones. <laughs> we, on Wednesdays, we thung out pink stones. Yeah. Why has Jackson chosen common people for her characters? Could she have chosen characters from other levels of sophistication with the same effect? No, I feel I don't like think so, I don't either. think she honestly could, I think. Because if they're, like, rich, they're not going to care. They can they just buy everything they, they need. They don't need to pay for a good harvest. But these common, like, farm people, they depend on like the this, harvest yeah, to this feed is their how they families. Make money, this is how they feed their families and community. Yeah, it just wouldn't have the same effect with rich people because it wouldn't make sense. They just, wouldn't like, care. <laughs> just export what you need. What seems to be the original purpose of the lottery? What do people believe about it? 
People believe that if you killed people, you got good hung of it. Yeah, yeah, I feel like it like... was pretty, like, clear-cut. Like, yeah, like, they're like, yeah, we just gotta kill someone, and then the, the harvest is gonna be good, we're gonna get some good grains. I will say, I love how they didn't beat him on the bush. It was just like, oh, well, they will die, we will get good harvest. Yeah, it's like, hi, yeah, hi, yeah. <laughs> give me the harvest. Harvest time. <laughs> I was gonna be... Yeah, but no, everyone just was like, yeah, we kill someone, I guess we get good we stuff. We get good grain. We get good food. We're gonna eat good tonight. Is it important that the original paraphernalia for the lottery had been lost? What do you suppose the original ceremony was like, and why do you think some of the villages have given it up? I think some of the villages have given it up because it's goofy, fucking <laughs> stuff, and it's barbaric. Not only that, like, you can't be sure. Like, what if you kill somebody and the grain is still bad? Yeah, like, it doesn't even make sense to me, because wouldn't it make sense if there was a year where they the grain was bad anyways, despite yeah. them killing people? Dep- depending on, like, land, how young exactly. sowing, what you're planting, weather. So they're like, oh, we weather. killed them. Maybe we didn't kill enough people? I don't know. It's definitely interesting. Maybe we didn't kill enough people. Is that what you just said? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we didn't kill someone. I don't know if it's important bones. that the original stuff for the lottery was lost. Yeah, because... I I'm, mean, I guess it could if the tr- tradition was, like, different back then. My thing is they're gonna do it either way. Yeah, exactly. Like, they're gonna do it either way if i had to guess of the original ceremony i don't know sacrificial dagger maybe <laughs> i feel like the rocks are just kind of extra like, kind of bang bang. yeah like, kind of like why are you gonna stone someone to death if you gotta kill them just kill them i guess like why, like, make why? Them suffer? yeah it doesn't make sense to me like does their suffering feed the grain i don't know <laughs> like children of the that's corn? literally what i was thinking like children <laughs> of the corn and I think the other... Well, we already talked about why the other villages gave it up. Because, you know, they're probably a little more smarter. Then probably, like, anti Yeah. Murder? And obviously this know. village hasn't given it up because they're dumb. And they think tradition is more important than human life. Which kind of sucks. Kind of, like, not a slave moment. Yeah, I don't know. If I, like... If I picked a little piece of paper with black on it, I don't... I wouldn't go down with, without a fight. I would be stoning the people who were hosting it. I'm sorry. Like, you will not take me alive. You will not feed me to the grain. <laughs> <laughs> What is the significance of Tessie's final scream? It isn't fair. It isn't right. What aspect of the lottery does she explicitly challenge? What aspect goes unquestioned? I think the aspect that she's ch- challenging is the fact that they shouldn't be killing people to sacrifice them to the gang. I don't know. Yeah, I think also she didn't think that the lottery this time yeah. around was fair. Because yeah. someone had picked late or something. Yeah, some, they didn't have enough time to pick. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, so I know she was challenging that. But I don't necessarily know if she was challenging the whole aspect as a whole because she seemed like she'd be one of those culty farm people. Yeah, I feel like she'd eat it up until she was the one yeah, chosen it was and then someone... she'd be like, no, guys, Yeah, you can't. It, and that's exactly what happened. Some critics insist that the story has an added symbolic meaning. Do you agree? Eh. Um, I mean, I don't really know. It just seems like murder for grain. Like, I, I don't know what the symbolism is there. Maybe death brings in new life or something. I, I don't. I, it doesn't make I, sense to me personally. Like, what do you think? I think, I think this song is just like there was no added symbolism because yeah. like the whole fact the fact of the song was, we stone them, we get good gain, yeah, we eat them for dinner. <laughs> we, like, what do you think they did with their what, bodies? Yeah, what did they do did with they the bodies? Like, give them to the farm did they fling them in the fields? Did like, they like? Yeah, exactly. Did they like fling the bodies wait, in the fields? What if they like grinded them up, kind of like a like seed. fertilizer or something? Yeah, and then. Ooh! Yeah, I could see that, I guess. I kinda hate that though. I mean they're already crazy. I don't know. Might as well <laughs> might as well add It to might it. be in the grain, guys. It might be in the grain. Is the lottery a collective act of murder? Is it morally justified? Oh wow. Is tradition sufficient justification for such actions? No. <laughs> no, I would not say that. No. I feel like I feel like no. Yeah, like it is a collective not, act of murder. And Everyone's it's deciding. not morally justified. I feel like it's very cult like and it like my main thing while I'm eating it was like, oh, so I'm extra wool, it's just an extra wool. Because, yeah. like, she's like, no, he didn't have enough time to pick. No. And they're like, eh. Yeah, they're well. like, oh, well, the corn gods chose him. <laughs> they crave his blood. Open, I don't know. Opening folded piece of paper and tell me what you Come got. Come into the cornfields. <laughs> we <laughs> won't kill you, I swear. Why does them killing people kind of remind me of a little shovel hole in this? Oh, that's fair. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. I mean, they are feeding the grains. <laughs> they're that's feeding fair. Something. But no, I, just, no, tradition is not sufficient justification. Yeah. Like, you shouldn't murder people, period. Oh, the like, there's a reason why it's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Dying. But yeah, overall, what would you, like, rate this little story out of 10? I don't- I feel like- okay, so I rated it 5 out of 5, so probably, like, 10 out of 10. Yeah. I feel like it was- it was a quick read. Yeah, it was only, like, It took me, like, 15, a, 20 pages. I don't know, it took me, like, a half an hour to read it. Yeah, I think it was around that time. But yeah, no, I like the story. I would give it an 8 out of 10, mostly because I've read some of Shirley's other stuff and I like it more. 
Like, she wrote The Haunting of the House on the Hill and stuff. Oh, okay, okay. And I thought that was really good, obviously. Did you think that was really good? But obviously. yeah, it's, it's good for a short story, you know what I mean? <laughs> it, it's okay for a short story. It was good. Yeah, I liked it. It was an enjoyable read, and it was interesting, and it kind of makes you hate people a little bit more. I want to be honest with you, when you were like, oh, I'm going to need this book, I had no clue what it was, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to be reading this. <laughs> yeah, I was a little surprised when we were reading this, because it was requested oh, by like... my, my higher up, my boss. She was like, yeah, you should cover the lottery. And I was like, okay, we'll, well cover the lottery. Well, it wasn't like, why are we reading those? But I was like, this book seems so not what they typically cover. Yeah, no. It's definitely not it something was like, I oh, usually read. We're going to sacrifice these people to the gang. And then I was like, never mind. I take it back. Brain time. <laughs> Gain and reveal. But yeah, I think that pretty much covers all that we wanted to talk about. It was lovely chatting with you guys again. And we will see you next time. Say bye, Hannah. Bye. Uh, bye.